you. Morning, guys. Out and about doing a bit of sprinkler work. Turning sprinklers on before I... Oh, Jesus, got wet. <laughs> ah, before I actually head out to the scrapyard. Uh, just on the sunrise at the moment. Nice and glorious. So, um, yeah. Good to get up early and have a look at the sunrise. Ah, what else can I turn on? That one there. You just got to do a bit of chores before I head out. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd just bring the camera along and show you a bit what I do. Just turn on some sprinklers. A moment Whoop, before I get wet <laughs> bugger but anyway um yeah I've got a uh, been preparing for the past two or three days besides a bit of work around here and that sort of thing so I can go to the scrapyard uh, you turn that way this is what I'm doing nothing spectacular turn the tap on turn it off so simple here uh, mow lawns, things like that. But anyway, um, I'll take his up and got the vehicle already parked up up up, up at the gate. Um, got a, still got a fair bit to do. We have still got a lot of whoops. <laughs> I'm getting chased by a sprinkler here. Um, I don't want to get wet. That's all it is. Got a, still got a fair bit of uh, stripping to do. We're waiting on a uh, machine to do a lot of wire stripping and that sort of thing. We've still got a lot of aluminium wire to strip out and that sort of thing. Um, it might come today, we don't know. But anyway, it's lovely and early this morning. Lovely sunrise in the background. This is the load that I do have at the moment. Uh, two YBC pods. We've also got a whole heap of washing machine shells and that sort of thing on here. It does look a bit offset at the moment, um, but I'm quite assured that it is on there very secure. I've got two across here, another one there. I got as many as I can get on there without taking up too much room. Um, I don't think I'd need to put any coming this way. She's pretty secure. Yep, she's pretty secure. We've also got some um, steel from a electrical place that I picked up from. Uh, didn't get it on camera. We've got three stoves across the front there. We've got the tucker box up the top there. Well, that's a more more of a toolbox uh, that's actually full of steel as well. With some chairs up there and God knows what. Now, you've probably seen we've got the crane here. We do have a couple of motors that we're going to be picking up today may not get it on camera but we'll see what happens um what do we got on the other side race around the other side hey tiggy hey, tiggy tiggy you're climbing through the fence mate ah uh, we got an old seat out of a car oh we've got a motor on here too um a filing cabinet sort of thing locker that i picked up from a scrap pickup from oh it was one of those uh, ones that I done, what was it, two part series I think it was. Um, and we've got a whole heap of other stuff. We've got heaters, all sorts of stuff in there. But anyway, let's get to the scrapyard. See what we're going to get. Now, I do know that I have over a ton on the trailer. Uh, not sure. I didn't weigh nothing on here. So we'll find out how much we actually are when we get to the scrapyard. I know the crane's going to be a fair bit of weight, but it's not coming off. It's staying there. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to the scrapyard. Got here. See how busy they are. They don't look real busy at all. Mm. Go around and get it weighed, I suppose. Feels very heavy. The vehicle does. I know what the trailer weighs. Pretty close to it anyway. Go see what it says. Oh dear. 
see what we're up for. Oh, he's got a load on there. No hiccups coming here. 2.84. Hmm. It's quickly unloaded. Go back and get more. There. Got a bit of hand stuff. Um, hand stuff yeah. yeah, got this stuff here. Um, that way you can get in and fork this one off here. Yep, and then, um, then we can lasso that one up and wait for him to finish up here. Yep. Unless we're throwing that off by hand. Uh, I don't know. You say he's gonna come out? I don't know, mate. <laughs> I did not know. I got that one caught. Just show it on the ground there. Sort it out after. Rose, yep. Ah, uh, yeah, mate. Yeah, she, she she goes. Well, it's not rubbish to me. <laughs> it's money. That's why I look at it. It's money. Doesn't want me to move, does he? Uh, I don't know, I'll have to go weigh him in and stuff in the Yeah, 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 yeah. Busy ass. It's all happening. You're not wrong. Pick up that. The trucks and all here. Right, I think I've got all the straps off. I reckon I have. Grab me gloves. Son, you're going this way. There's a bit of wire there. Be nice scrap, stainless pipe. Yeah. Anyway, keep going in, then we'll get out of the road. We'll put the lasso around that. That way it's all ready to roll. Get this done. I think they got to put a bin there or a bin over there, not sure. You want me to move? Okay. Am I good, pretty? What have I got here? Oh. Way too much treasure, mate. That's the thing. I've got more to come. No. Yes. And you don't like the claws. <laughs> I'm the I'm the nasty set of claws. Didn't you know? <laughs> I 
Right. Oh, I still got that strap. Still got one strip to go. Like I've done that. I have got a strap here to undo yet. Thought I was done with straps. Through there, stay there. Roll them up later. One more to undo. Round here, where is it? Right here. We're not leaving any behind. I'm oh, gonna be out of the road today. I'm a bit ahead of them. <coughs> Which is good. I might just start unloading some of this stuff that'll shift. Up to there, throw this in the window. Because I'm all done there. Move this stuff. I want it unloaded. See how good of a frisbee it is. Not too bad. Not too bad of a frisbee. That's a spiky piece that. Should have just drove up there, tipped it off the side. <laughs> These are heavy pieces. I recall these pieces in some of my videos. chunk. Oh, there is a heavy, heavy chunk. They complain about how much weight I've got. <laughs> I thought they'd be glad. Bringing in some heavy stuff. Well, they're not actually complaining. They're concerned. Very concerned. Uh, get that one shortly. Cheers. Cheers. Unload it myself. That's ready. Yeah, you might want to put the fork under that, bro. <laughs> She's full of screws and God knows what. 
<laughs> spiders and washing machine parts. <laughs> Just leave your fork low and we'll put, I'll put it on for you. That'll loop, whoop. Stay there. There you go, she's all yours. Then you can pick that one up. Get me a warm day. Till the back, till the back and go down, till the back and go down, till the back and go down, and swing to your left. You gotta go down further too. Yeah, yeah, that one. No you gotta go down Mel. To your left. To your left. Go down. Go down and, and squeeze in. That's it, whoop. Now go in, to your left, take it at that, because you'll lift the other one otherwise. That's it. I don't know where you're putting that. <laughs> Did you want to try and drag it back instead of lifting it out? Yeah, you can try that. It's got no bins at the moment. Yeah, I understand that. He down there jibber jabbering. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lifting that. I need a second person. You're hooking him with that, are you? Hey? 
You hooking him with that, are you? Oh, okay. Am I far enough which way? Yeah, no, right. I'll hop out of your road then. Oh, you're, you're clearing a spot for a bin, are you? Yeah, you just dropped me in. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Gotta move my People coming and going here. Always. Then I'll be out of his road. Stop work for a bit. Stand way back over here. Well, that's a nice bit of stainless. That looks like stainless to me. I'd get the magnet onto that. It is stainless. Oh, there's extruded alloy there. Stand over here behind the forklift. Out of the way. Actually, he's not moving. Got an idea. Got an idea. I suggest for him to drag it out. See if I can get him to drag it out. Come down here. Go in through there. We might be able to drag it out that way. Might. What you got on the front of that thing? Well, have a look. Have a look what he's got on the front of this thing that we can hook onto. Hmm, maybe, maybe over the front of that with the hooks. Let's we'll see. Probably would. Yes. Probably could do that. It's not phone time. <laughs> can't play with your phone and operate a machinery, mate. Yeah, I, can. <laughs> I don't know how, because I can't. I'm a damn good operator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seen that one, did you? <laughs> right, my idea here. We put the hooks over and drag that back. Yeah. I'm going to hop out of the road. I'll wait till it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do him. Yeah. I'm going to just stand back over here so he can do what he wants. Watch out behind you. all happening. No, don't bow. Don't bow. Oh, oh, what is this? I would have took the brass bits off that. Never mind. Ooh, they're heavy things. Rabo. At least I parked far enough away. Good, steady. There's a 44 there, mate. And it's gonna fall. Maybe not. That's it. I'm not going over there. Going nowhere near that stuff.
got that one. I'm going to try and get more 44 gallon drums so that, that way they can just pull them off like that and chuck them straight in. So, might be on the cars where I've got somewhere I can get them from, so we'll see what happens anyway. Um, the truck depot, I asked them and they said, oh yeah, I might be able to supply some. So. More trucks coming in. Damn. They need a bigger joint. <laughs> I reckon. Here I am where the movie started, facing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. I don't need any hero to save me I don't know why the kids always crying I've been thinking about all the captains But we left in a wasted planet I thought I had it all together But I'm waking up sad You don't need to show your fake love Anymore to them Can you feel the spark in city light When it's day to night That's the spark that's from my waking up He got it. I'll grab those two. Go down the side. Go way down the side. Take me distance. Here. the stove there and I'll move out of the road go that way go that way tilt your claw open out tilt it go that way more 
To your right. To your right. Go down. Grab it. You got it. Cooperation, see? Oh, this thing's heavy. I put stuff in this. Oh, Jesus. How about we just chuck it up there? Might be easier. Safety. That's why I'm standing back over there, mate. Like your hydraulics is only gonna break once. Bang! It looks like you may have another one going right up here. Or is that a new one? You got a leak there, on the top coupling. See it now? I think that's it. Probably on a drop now and then. Anyway, <laughs> he's having a look at that. I'm out of the road. All right. Stand back here. I've done my hard work for the day. I got more to do. I think I've got two motors to bring, a uh, boat motor, and whatever else I've got to bring. Hopefully I can get back here before they close today. I just put that up there. Never mind. Throw it back up. Quick, 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 quick. His claw's not over this way. <laughs> Machinery everywhere, still need a trailer. Uh, what was that? Oh, I've got to stand me and my vehicle, bro. But I can run over, there's too much around there. I'm glad I wear the high fish gear. <laughs> Squeeze in. Go in there. You got it, you got a bit more on there than what it was. Got a truck coming, or was. All right, stay over here. Out the road. He said he was going to move his chassis. Oh, there's 10 cents. I'll grab that. <laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. Get back over here. Put me 10 cents in. 
Uh, that can go up on top of that and grab that then. It's out of the road. I don't think we need that. I can go there. Bolt off. That way. Might clean up over here. Oh, I might be a bit close to his excavator. I don't know. Oh dear! That's a heavy piece, that thing. Oh, we've got a piece here. Put that that way. Don't bust the holes, bro. That's the way to do it, rotisserie. They've been the best IBC pods I've had. Steel frame right around it and all that. Tried to make it easy for him. Go down and drag back. Yeah, you got room. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That'll do it. I would take that off. That's a lot easier. All right, yeah. It's all yours, bro. Give me another strip. Yeah, oh, it's not needed. Gotta wait. So yeah, we go with that. Probably down to. Well, I can't remember what the last one was. Oh, but we got the crane on today, so yeah, weights will be a bit different. No one in here. Two point seven four. Should have went further back. Oh, well, we'll clean up a little bit first. Here to do a clean up. This is where I was supposed to come pick up those motors. There's one out there, another one over there. Boat motor in there somewhere. Somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've got to clean this spot, so I'm going to load it in here. Let's see how we go. Put the motors on top of the um, on the vehicle.
What the devil is that? A hunk of steel? I don't know. Don't think so. Hard to tell. Take the sunnies off. I didn't bring a magnet. Probably not. Anyway, it's there. It looks like a bit of steel, so clamps that up, makes more room. Alloy. Oh, bed frames over here. I've got to grab those. I've got to leave the aluminium here. Grab the bed frames. We're just grabbing steel today from here. Crunch, crunch. It's only going to be a light load, try and get back so we can get it all in one day. Right there. Pull that piece down here. What have we got there? That's tin. Got a bit of weight in that. That's an aluminium frame. That's not going. Oh, what do you call on? Okay, that stays with the aluminium. That's aluminium. Bird cage. And that can go. Stainless. Put it over there. Still got a stainless run to do. Strap. I can't say no to a strap. Sit that there. Heavy, it's going. Bit of alloy. Yeah, do it. Sort out as we're going. I think we've got a four wheeler motorbike frame in here too. Let them go. Clean this pile up first, like I said. Alloy can go over there. Nice oh, heavy hunk. I think this one caught on fire. Might have been a fire job that one. Ooh, watch the camera, boy. Watch the camera. That up there. Yeah, that's good enough. Another piece of alloy extruded. Sit that there. Maybe I need that on the front of this thing. The weights that I'm bringing. Another piece of alloy. Get this one. Another strap. She's a bit rusted out, that one. That's our 
Oh, yeah. yeah, I can cut that off. Right. Oh, can, eh? Put it over there. That way. What we got here? Grinder? Yeah. Grinder up front. Get the cord off it. We might make up a tote. There's a battery that's got to go home with us. Right, that there we've got a couple of bonnets here. them for up there I reckon. Take him up there. Mm. We go. Let's hassle later. Might do that with the quad too. Um yeah. Because I use the crane. Roll it out the road. Yeah, I can get that there. Bonnets aren't white. You put the motors on top. A lot of goodness. A lot of goodness. Probably have to unload this by hand when we get there. Oh, what have we got? Here? Oh, it's got a cord on it. Sit it there, then over the shoulder. Air compressor pump. Pulling that apart. Right there. Okay. 
sheet of iron. What else we got there? Oh, there's the boat motor. We may be able to put it in the trailer. We're almost in line for the motor there too. good enough we might get that one first before we move I might have to get a little bit closer though mm, just a little bit Eyes are wandering. Eyes are wandering. What are the what are the goodies there may be? in there not not very shiny on the on it or um being aluminium spear that into there oh, at least this has been broke up I think that's going to work better than what I expected. So I can back straight into here. Now I'm in him, Billy. Go on, that. Put that down there. If I get time, I'll go through those. Don't think I've got a pair of sight cutters in the vehicle. They can go as extruded, not extruded, um, cast alloy. Oh, what have we got here? Some sort of cage, cage affair. grateful that I've done this definitely put that on the front of the vehicle another light bit of pipe 
the light might even work. Being an LED, or oh, I don't think so. Maybe not. The way the cord is. Right, boat motor. Before I get too carried away. Not that heavy. It's good. Up we go. One. Two. Shut the towel board. So nothing slips out. Is that a bit of cable? Was. As long as it's not a snake. <laughs> That's the main reason why this is getting cleaned up. Snakes. Chain bar there. What have we got there? Oh, that can go. Yeah. Those two bits. some sort of small tyre that's in your waist levy that's a bit of copper sit that over there right that guard can go on here almost need to back up Looking good. Looking good. Uh, throw the dry oil filter on. That cleaned that file up. What's there? Now yeah, the other motor. It's way over here. Way over here. It's got a gearbox on it. It's a what is it? A V6? Yeah, V6. It's on a tire. Okay, I don't know about that iron. Um, he's yet to clean all that up yet anyway, so we'll see how things go. Let get that out of here now. There's a lot of bottles in here. A lot of bottles. He offered me um, I think it was that trailer and that one as well, but I don't know how I'd get out of that if he I may have to have a car trailer to get it out. Still weighing up the odds. price of everything to the thing oh, it's just dripping off me this anyway we'll get to and do this motor that's plastic okay got that all set up set up just got this part to do to stabilize a leg so that the trailer doesn't cock over this way when I lift that up Just a slight modification that I've done to the trailer. It's not a big modification. 
We put these on the front of caravans actually. Where's that hole there? Put that into there. I haven't altered the structure of the trailer of any sort. Does that need to go down more? Or is it down? It's already down, so I've got to go lower. Because I won't get that underneath that. Got to keep the vehicle running for the power on the winch. That down to there should be enough. Just go underneath that, like so. I've only got to take some of the weight. Where's the handle? This handle will do the job. Then we uh, bring that up higher. I've got the Clutch engaged up there at the moment. All right, that should be enough. Do the rest by hydraulic. Put that in the gear. Where's our controller? Right here. Oh, that's not even tied on, is it? No, I gotta come closer this way. they done it. Where's that going? Oh, I don't want all that strap. I don't want any of that strap. Where's that going? Through there? Yeah, that's going through there. I didn't look at it. Well, well, here's my options. Pull that back through. No matter how it goes on, as long as it goes on. Oh, that's a piece of steel. It's actually a socket bar. A bit rusty. Pull that to there. Tie that around the manifold. Take strap and all. should do the trick. Go up a bit more here. Right, where's our control? No, it's not lifting level. Motor's heavier than the gearbox. Okay, so I've got to do my own here. Come up here. Might go through there. Put that through there. Put the D into that. I haven't got no hooks. Only the hook that's up here. work. I'll oh, 
come down a little bit. It's an advantage of having a winch. Up, down, up, down, quick and simple. See how we go with that. That should work. That's almost center of weight distribution there. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. Wrong way. That's it. Oh, that's stress testing the friendship. It is a 3,000 pound winch. Ton and a half. She's lifted the tire off. First motor, let the battery build up. First motor, it's lifted. Uh, that's a test of to, to the time of what it can do. I tell you what, getting rid of this will be a bonus for him. It's got an aluminium sump. That'll do. Jack it up the rest. Ooh, that's got some pressure on it. Got to watch me back here. Get around the other side. And if I hadn't had that jack there, she'd be toppling over on the trailer, even though I loaded the trailer. We've got to get the other one closer. Oh, well, no, I could do it the same way. Right, now I've got to try and turn that. Right, I've got to get out there and do that. This is why I'm using the rope. The winch rope, because I can turn it. If I had the chain on there, it wouldn't turn. Woo there, son. I'm ready to go. I can go down right there. Come here. Wrong way. Well, that worked well for the first trial. I reckon that's a success. Well, success. Damn good success. Especially when you're on your own. I would not be able to lift that. Hell no. You're probably looking at about three, four hundred kilos. As a guess. Right, hang on to that D. Get back and do this other motor. About the quad frame. Oh, boy. <laughs> on me want. Oh, God. I don't know where the centre of gravity would be on this. I reckon, I reckon probably right in the middle. Go down a bit more. Wrong way. Where a hook would be handy. Just 
took it on, away you go. But I look at safety, if that's done up in there, the only thing that's able to break, which is the rope. Hop out of the road. I shouldn't need the jack, it's only light. They worked. Where'd my handle go? Right here. Go up higher. Go up higher, of course, to get it over that motor. Got a fair lift on this. It's good. I don't know what I'd do without it now. Uh, use the handle. Pull on there. It's supposed to have come with one of the handles. I've left it at home. I should have left this to last. I can move and maneuver it about, I suppose. Put it down there. That's the quick wow loading, I reckon. Pull it out. Now don't fall off. Gotcha up there now. You're not gonna fall off. That'll do. Put a rope over it. Get the other motor of us way over there. Got to work out how I'm going to do that. We might be best to see how we go. I think my rope is not long enough for that. My winch rope. Well, I've got an extension ropes. Maybe if I get the trailer back in there, we'll see how we go. We shall see how we go. That's all I can do. Swing that around over that. All right, got it all set up. Just using hydraulics at the moment to pull it towards me. <coughs> got the leg in the position. Slowly drag it out. Try and leave the tire that it's sitting on there. Slow and steady wins the race. Here we go, we've got some movement. We might need to sling a piece to the gearbox yet. So, best to go down and find something that we can sling to the gearbox. Just use the ratchet strap. If it doesn't get caught on anything, like grass, we should be able to put it around that thing there. Whatever that thing is. I'm not worried what it is as long as I can grab it, hook onto it. Like so. Grab the other hook. That way we can balance it out with the ratchet. Hook that up to there. The old strap should be strong enough. It's a chain we've got to rely on, really. Make sure that that's out of the road. That way we can get it off. 
I'm going to get it on the ute. Like so. Not being too particular. Oh, I think that worked. It did work. Use the hydraulics. We're off the ground. We're off the ground. I think this is heavier than the other one. The other was what only a single cylinder. Not single cylinder, straight cylinder, straight. Not a V6 or in it. I think we may be high enough. We use the power. Power of power. Wrong way, son. Let it rest, get all the grass off. It'll probably blow off in the means of us getting to the scrapyard. Two in one day. Pretty good, I reckon. Okay, go up a bit more. That's it there, down a bit. Down to there. Got it on a 12 mil plate, so I don't think it's gonna break. In by some half inch U-bolts and some three quarter bolts that came with the item. Ah, looking at that, looking at that. We may just get it on. Just gotta watch the trees above. I'll take that out of there. Poke it into there, hop out here, push behind it. I can feel the weight transferring. That's on there. She's on. I'm not even going to worry about the tyre. Uh, power. Power out. There we go. Might do some final adjusting to tie it all down, like lifting this up and over and things like that. But anyway, see you back at the scrapyard. Made it back in time. Oh, they must have filled the other bin. Where'd the dust come from? Oh, okay. Okay, truck on there. <laughs> Feel good? Must be all good. Wonder how much this weighs. We haven't got much on, but we'll find out. Oh, 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 oh dear! Oh, bones! Oh, bones! Creaky, creaky, creaky! Oh dear! That's a better load, isn't it? <laughs> ah, 3.5, four, is it? We'll untie here, that way it's all ready, I'm out of the driveway. Ooh, skitty, skitty, skitty.
bathtub's just about falling out. She's a steel bathtub, not a cast iron one, that one. If it was cast iron, I'd be taking it home. No. Take it home, cut it up. It's got to be at least 300 by 300 to come, at, come in as inside. In size or whatever, however they pronounce it. Yeah. That. Down in through there. That one down there, grab our strap off the ground. Come on, come to Papa. Thank you. Use your engine blocks as toppers, yeah. You can do that. I just got to untie it, that's yeah, yeah, all. That's all Yep, yep, yep. Grab the motors and then... Well, I've got that quad frame there too. If you want to chuck it all in one go, yep. it's up to you. Oh, you just don't want to hold the Hamish up the driver, so... Yeah, 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 it's all good. Just got to pull those straps off the other side. that one on there bro <laughs> she was on there oh Stroot just about tripped over right better back up get things sorted get it all organized I think that's it looks like it Put the handbrake on too. <laughs> handbrake not real good. <laughs> Damn.
Oh, you want me to jackknife it? Oh, okay, yep. I'll pull out of your road so you can get that. Yep, yep, and then just, just back up the side here. Yep, grab so you can grab that. Let him get that first. Do do do. Back over there. Be all good to go. Staying put. I'll <laughs> leave me foot on the brake. Huh? No, nah, come with it, mate. That was already on it. Screws. <laughs> Got one? Oh, I reckon he's got one. Yep. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, damn, that's solid. Put my head in the window. <laughs> I don't want to get my head chopped off with that thing. <laughs> Gee, feel the weight come off the vehicle. They were heavy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. They near as cloudy, eh? What was that? Oh, that was the quad. Damn. Wish I could pick it up like that. <laughs> make life easy for me. Hell would it make life easy for me. Oh, the bonnet. Bit of rock and roll on you. Oh, there's what's that, the two bonnets and fifth, fifth. <laughs> Throw the grass out. <laughs> you can have the grass back. <laughs> Damn. He's got him. Is that it? Is 
Did it? Get my tumble line off here. See my weight it without it. Oh! Two point six four. What have we got here? Copper. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that was an eventful day. Two scrap runs in one day. Didn't think I'd be able to do it, but we got it done. So anyway, we'll get down to the formalities. What we weighed. Um, when I'm loading the vehicle, I don't weigh none of it, uh, especially when it's flat packed like a, I do flat pack it and that sort of thing. It's a bit hard to weigh everything, and then you might be out by 100 kilos or something like that. But anyway, uh, we'll get back down to the formalities and that sort of thing. So our first load, we took in 3,100 kilos, 3.1 ton, and the next one was 900 kilos, so a total of 4 ton taken in, 4,000 kilos. So the first one we got... $868 and the second one we was $252 and we come down subtotal of $1,120 that's without the waste levy with waste, waste levy taken out $152 $968 and then you got the GST amount which is normal what we get here in Australia um, so yeah that's all pressing steel a lot of weight so the grand total of what we had loaded was nearly no over actually not nearly nine and a half ton. Nine thousand three hundred and eighty kilos. Wow. Anyway, that's pressing steel. That is certainly what you call a heavy load. For one day, four ton. Um so yeah. Very surprising on how much it was. Um I couldn't do the math there and then. So anyway. Um, if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So on that note, everyone, I'm going to end it off there. Till next time, happy scrapping, happy dumpster diving, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.